Teresa, the finest warrior of the Claymore series, was known as the 182nd warrior of the 77th generation in the organization, ranking as number one. She was considered to be the strongest Claymore ever created, capable of surpassing the original Abyssal Ones. Teresa was also the adoptive mother of Claire and played a significant role in her becoming a warrior. Voiced by Romy Park in the Japanese version and Christine Outen in the English version of the anime, Teresa earned the nickname Teresa of the Faint Smile. This nickname stemmed from her never revealing specialized techniques and her ability to effortlessly defeat enemies with ease, all while wearing a faint smile. In terms of appearance, Teresa stood tall at 180 centimeters with long, wavy, pale blonde hair and silver eyes like other claymores. She once had dark hair, but it turned blonde after the transformation. Initially, Teresa had a merciless and solitary nature, accepting any assignment without complaint. She enjoyed intimidating townsfolk and claimed that the organization sent Yoma to towns that failed to pay fees. However, her encounter with Claire changed her perspective. Initially trying to discourage Claire from following her, Teresa eventually opened her heart and formed a strong bond with the young girl. Their relationship resembled that of a mother and daughter, and they lived together until Teresa's tragic death at the hands of Priscilla. Despite her violent nature, Teresa possessed a kind and caring side. She found happiness in her last days because of Claire, and when given the chance, thanked God for their meeting. Irene believed that Claire's influence softened Teresa and led to her downfall. But Teresa herself confirmed that she would not have changed her actions if given the chance to relive her life. Teresa's abilities as a Claymore were exceptional. As a half-breed, she possessed superior physical prowess, including increased regeneration, durability, strength, and speed. Her unique physiology allowed her to endure longer periods without food or water, neutralize toxins, and regulate body temperature. Teresa's Yoma power, even at a low release of 10%, surpassed that of other warriors and allowed her to overwhelm her enemies. Thank you for listening, and if you're interested in more Claymore analysis, please consider subscribing since I'll be posting at least three Claymore videos a week.